guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nays and For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So you're gonna see me in this outfit twice. Um, once for this video and once for a book review. And I'm gonna do the book review after. But I just wanted to come down come down, come on and um just make a quick sit down video with you guys and tell you guys what's been going on and things like that. Um, because I've been slacking on Bible studies. I've been slacking on the Holy Bible app. Like, it's it, it hasn't been good. But I've still been getting the word in me through other things. So I just wanted to talk to you guys. And, um, oops, sorry. A lot of you guys have been asking me about what I'm going to be elevated as. So I just wanted to come on and talk to you. And I'm probably show you guys how I pack my book bag for classes that I have on Thursdays um so I don't even know where I want to begin okay so first things first shirts because a lot of you guys have asked me about the shirts um about the fit and the sizing and all of that the link to the shirt will be down below but I can make the shirt um I can make it a uh, t-shirt I can do hoodies I can do sweaters I think that's it right hoodies and, and long sleeve um shirts as well um, right now, the only two colors I have are black with the bubblegum pink lettering and then a gray color. It can be a dark gray or a light gray um, with the purple lettering as of right now. I do want to get a red shirt with black lettering coming soon. I definitely want to do that and um, some other colors. But right now, those are the only two that I have that I'm offering. Um, so yeah, links to that will be down below. They are available to purchase. You just go on the blog and you pick whichever ones you want and you order. A few of you have already ordered and I thank you so much for that. Um, what's next? Okay, so mugs are coming. I finally got the vinyls and I have literally four samples here because I wanted to try it out myself. I don't even know which one it was. I think this was the first one that I tried. Yeah. So I'll quickly show you guys. So the mugs are like this. They're clear mugs. And I wanted to do clear mugs because I personally love clear mugs. Especially when I'm making like hot chocolates and coffees. Um, I like looking at the drinks after I make them. And I also drink tea. So I like looking at the different colors of the tea. This is just my mentality. I don't know if you guys are like this. But um, even like when you go to Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts. They give you a clear plastic cup. So I really wanted to do um, really nice mugs. If I'm not mistaken these are 16 ounces don't quote me i will have all the information soon but um yeah right now i am gonna offer it in other colors but this is the black one and it literally just says daughter of increase i did this myself um cut the vinyl stuck it on here all of that i just have to do a wash test this is permanent vinyl um it's considered outdoor vinyl so it's more permanent um than other vinyls i need to do a wash test Obviously, this is not going to be good in your dishwasher because it can melt the um, the uh, vinyl. But, uh, yeah, for now, I think it's really nice. I made a bunch of, uh, like I said, I made a bunch of samples just to get the cutting and all of that correct. So, it's really nice. I think I want to do a monogram one as well that just says DOI on it. Um, so, yeah, this is how it looks if you have, like, your right hand. And then I made one for the left hand if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So if you're left-handed, you have this one. And if you're right-handed, you have this one. They will be available for purchase um, soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to charge because I do want to do free shipping. But I know that shipping will be um, a little bit different just because it is glass. And I have to make sure it doesn't break. So I'm still debating on pricing um, as of right now. But the pricing will include the purchase of the mug, me putting on the actual logo, as well as um, shipping. So all of that will be included in there um but yeah i'm like so excited i will be offering them in different colors as well right now those are black i do have yellow i have blue i have red i have white and i have pink available i think those are the five colors or is it six colors black white red blue yellow pink yes yeah, six colors um i'm not sure how the white would look on the glass because it is clear i'm not 100 percent sure how white would look so i'm not sure if i'm gonna offer white but i do have those colors and i'm probably gonna do them 20 or 25 at a time um just so that i'm not losing my mind but i still want to do a wash test before i offer these because i don't want what i don't want to do is sell them to you guys and you guys wash them like hand wash them and then you, you message me and tell me it's not sticking so um i did this one about two days ago um and it's pretty much on there yeah like i can't even 
get it off with my nail. It's it's on there. It's been stuck on here for two days. The other three um, have been on there for a day. So I'm going to let them sit for three days and then wash them by hand again. Um, I don't think would, these would be microwave safe. So I wouldn't even tell you guys to put these in the microwave. Um, again, I'm going to do a bunch of tests before I actually sell them because I don't want it to be a problem when you, especially since you're purchasing them. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited about that. We have that going. Um... I might be offering a service. I'm not 100% sure yet, but um, I might start making, um, for those of you guys who need it, like business cards and postcards and stuff like that, because I recently just made my own business cards. Um, I think I have one over here. Yeah, so I recently just made a bunch of my own business cards, like by hand, you guys. I designed them myself for Dilda of Increase in my makeup business. But I d designed them by myself. Um, I cut them myself. And um, yeah, so we have this regular one here. It's just Dilda of Increase. I designed it by scratch by myself. Um, and then I did this glittery version, which I am obsessed with it. You guys don't understand. The front is glittery. The back is not. But um, I'm obsessed. So I'm thinking about doing that as a service that I can do doing like a hundred business cards for people if they need them for like maybe twenty dollars that includes the shipping and all of that in there um if they want it printed it'd probably be like 25 yeah 20 25 we'll see but um yeah i really want to start just using all of the gifts and talents that i have and not just sitting on them um so yeah as of right now we have t-shirts um i'm gonna have two more t-shirt designs coming soon i have some ideas running in my mind um, but yeah, right now we have that one daughter of increase shirt. Um, we have the mugs coming really, really soon. I'm debating if I want to put something on the back or not. I don't know. I, I don't know you guys. So, um, I'm stepping out of the box and using the ideas that are in my mind. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I guess that's pretty much it for now. Let's talk about class and all that great stuff and what I mean elevated as. So. I told you guys previously, um, I don't know if I said it here on YouTube or if I said it, and I, I apologize about the smoke detector. A lot of you guys have told me to change the batteries. We have done that. It just still beeps, and it only beeps when I'm recording, which is the crazy part. Like, I would understand if, like, I changed the batteries and it just stopped beeping altogether, but it literally only beeps when I make a video. I don't understand that. Like, I don't get it. So, I'm going to try to change them again. We'll see if that works. Um, but, yeah. But, um, I don't know if I mentioned it here or on just in the Facebook group, but I told you guys I was being elevated as a, um, minister in training. Now, I have been called to be a minister in training for years. Um, I'm not really sure how long. I don't know if it was before my son was born or after my son was born. My son was born in 2014. So, I don't know if it was before then or after then, but either way, that's been like five years or so. Four or five years that I've been called to be a minister in training and um i kind of stepped back from it because i didn't feel prepared especially since i was dealing with so much um that i just i wasn't comfortable with the idea of becoming a minister um i, I just wasn't comfortable with that and there was just a lot of things that i was personally dealing with um you, you guys saw the two uh testimony videos that i posted and i know you a lot of you guys are asking for more of those testimony videos they are coming I don't know when, <laughs> but they are coming, of course. Um, I, I think I'm just going to do, like, three of them in the summer and post them up sporadically. Um, but, yeah, though the rest of the testimony videos are coming. Because I know a lot of you guys are asking about um, my whole pregnancy experience and things like that. So, I'm going to do my testimony on that and um, some other things. So, but yeah, I just, I wasn't prepared. I didn't think that I was worthy of being a minister um, or minister in training at that. So, I just kind of pulled myself away. Um... And I'm a little happy that I did that. I, you know, I probably should not have done that, obviously, because once God calls you, that's it, you're called. But um, I'm sort of happy that I kind of sort of pulled myself back only because it allowed me to build my own relationship with God for myself. Um, obviously, I have a mother. I had my pastor and my bishop and everybody within the church praying for me. But there comes a point in time where you yourself have to want to seek God for yourself you have to want to pray you have to want to get to know him for yourself you have to want to um get out of whatever you're out of and it just it got to that point so um you know it's been almost two years not almost two years has it almost been two years? oh my god yeah almost two years come September if I'm not mistaken 
well, July. Um, July 2017 was when I started Daughter of Increase. So, um, I, I must say, for the past two years, um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. But, um, you guys know that I went to Tennessee with my first lady, my, my bishop, um, my pastor, my bishop, excuse me. I went to Tennessee and my bishop had basically, I don't want to say reinstated me because that doesn't make sense, but he did call me out, um, during one of the services, um, as a minister in training. And then that Sunday, <laughs> we had a conversation, and he told me he wanted to just make me, um, well, I was not a minister in training, what is it? An aspiring minister. Um, and then that Sunday, we had a conversation, and he wanted to put me back as a minister in training. And then we had the minister's classes, um, classes, which is what I'm taking, and all the ministers and evangelists and things and pastors are taking that class. It's not just for ministers, but um, it is a class that everyone is taking. But um, that's a class that I have to go to. Every Thursday, except for Thursdays, we go. Um, it's like an hour and a half class. And it's just stuff that we are learning that it are, um, are basically essentials, like the doctrines and learning to observe the text so that we can do sermons and whatnot. So we're learning a lot, and I'm loving the class, loving it so much. Um, but yeah, and then we got, I think we got our letters on the first day or the second day. And my letter did not say, now keep in mind, when I was told that I was going to be ministering training, I was like, okay, cool, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm mentally prepared. I'm good. Because, like I told you guys, it was a struggle for me previously, um, just because I was dealing with personal things, and I just, I didn't feel like I was ready or worthy. Um, so, you know, after me and my bishop had that conversation, I was like, okay, cool, I'm ready for it, I can do it. Lo and behold, I get my letter, and my letter said something completely different. And you guys, when I say it was serious, I mean, to the point where I went to my first lady, because my first lady, um, who was the pastor of my church, senior pastor of my church, she, um she's doing the classes so when i got my letter i was i literally went to her and was like um excuse me first lady is this a mistake like i really because i wasn't expecting it um i know what has been prophesied to me from um three leaders that i trust i know what has been prophesied on my life i know where god is taking me because god has shown me um but you know it's one of those things where you think you're gonna do it baby steps you know, little baby steps. I wanted to do baby steps. God was like, no, you ain't doing the baby steps. You're going to make this jump. Um, <laughs> so instead of being a minister, I am basically um, going to be an evangelist. And, uh, yeah. And to a lot of you guys, it might not sound like a big deal. But for me, it is, um, I don't know, evangelism. I mean, an evangelist is just someone who gathers the people, obviously. Um but I feel like evangel. I don't know. It. I really. I, I. don't even know how to explain to you guys. I'm still trying to. What's the word? Get. Get used to it. The idea of it. My mom is an evangelist, so um, you know, and it's crazy because the last few months, I have before we even got these letters and the classes and whatnot. I literally have been spending a lot of time just around, my bishop, my pastor, and a bunch of the evangelists at the church, literally. Like, and it. It would freak me out, not in a bad way, but it would just make me nervous because I'm just like, I know something is getting ready to go on because I'm around all of these people within ministry and they're in like, I don't want to say high places, but high places, if that makes sense. So yeah, being hopefully prayerfully if things go well over the next five, four months, four months now, um, because the service is in August, um, I may have snippets of the service, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, if things go well, I will be an evangelist. Um, so right now, I'm an evangelist elect. Um, is that the right way? Evangelist elect? Minister elect? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to be an evangelist, guys. And um, like I said, it's nerve-wracking. <laughs> but I know that there is a work for me to do. Um, and not just here on YouTube, um, within my actual church. Um, and... There's a lot I still need to overcome with like being shy and keeping quiet because a lot of the things that I tell you guys For some reason it makes me nervous to tell the people that I know especially within my church like my bishop And I'm not sure if my pastor seems have seen the video. My bishop does watch my channel Um, so yes, um, hi bishop if you're watching, but um, he does watch my channel And um, there's a lot of things that he had to find out through YouTube videos because I just I don't know when it comes to speaking to people i get nervous and like i said there's some things that i told you guys that even my own mother doesn't know because i haven't disclosed it to her and i don't know it, it i think 
there's this blockage in my mind because there was once a time when I tried to tell people that I knew things. Um, they doubted me. So that's something that I definitely have to overcome, which I know I can definitely overcome, obviously. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning to break out of that. Um, so yeah. Now you guys know. <laughs> um, cause a lot of you guys have been asking me and I told you guys I was gonna make a video, but, um, here's that video. So yeah, my official letter from my church says evangelist. And um, I'm excited for the endeavor. I'm excited for these next four months. The first month has been amazing. Um, as far as class, class is awesome. Like, awesome, you guys. You you, you have no idea. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my book bag. Because um, I literally take a book bag because my first lady plays no game. She's my pastor. And I always call her first lady because I'm used to calling her first lady. But I need to call her pastor. But I'm just, I, I don't know. I like calling her first lady. But um, she plays no games. She takes this serious. Um, it is it's serious so i'm gonna show you guys what i packed because we were supposed to have class thursday but we didn't have class thursday so um the first thing i take is my planner and this is e, -re uh, e a recollections um mini planner this is an undated calendar which i love so pretty much it's just blank but it's also horizontal which i love um this is my kind of church calendar um i do take care of my first lady's you know her calendar so i just keep her calendar in here um and anything going on with the church all that information goes in here i keep this specifically for church um just to keep things up to date i don't even know where i'm gonna throw all this stuff because i have no space but um okay the next thing i have is my biblical cyclopedic index from nelson's um we are supposed to be bringing an atlas in a bible dictionary um, I have my Bible dictionary, which I'll show you, but I like taking this because I feel like this is a combination of a concordance and a Bible dictionary. So what I mean by that is that some of the words are defined here, and then some of them, they have like brief definitions and then you get certain scriptures. Um, so I like this. It's not the best, but I feel like it's one of those things that you can take with you on the go because it'll have most of what you need it won't be super in-depth like a concordance or an actual bible dictionary but um it'll get you exactly to where you need and um help you understand specific words so um yep I'm trying to figure out yeah so it says it's um a combination of a concordance a topical bible and a bible dictionary in one so i definitely agree with that um so I love this. I haven't used it, honestly, as much as I used to, but I do love it so much. Um, and then we do have my Bible dictionary. I just take the compact Bible dictionary. I do want to get the Holman's Illustrated Bible dictionary just because it's illustrated. Like, I'm not even going to lie. That's the only reason why I want it. It's because of pretty pictures. Um, I have this thing visually. I have to, I like seeing certain things. Um, so I have this. This has pictures in it, but it's not illustrated. Like, it's not pretty colors. So, like, there are black and white photos in here of things, but, um, you know, I'm the type of person, I like pretty colorful photos, you know? And I'm sorry if I'm looking all over the place, you guys, but, um, yeah, so I do have this. I got this off of Amazon for, like, less than eight bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's the Nelson's Compact Series. I know there's, like, other ones as well. Yeah, there's a Compact Bible Handbook, Compact Bible Commentary, and the Compact Bible Concordance. I'm thinking about grabbing the Concordance because my Concordance is like the hefty, strong Concordance. I am not, that's textbook size. I am not taking that. That is one thing I refuse to take to class. That's too big and my back would hurt. So that's the only thing I don't take. Um, I do take two Bibles. I take my Journaling Bible, which is the New King James Journal of the Word Journaling Bible from Thomas Nelson. This, let me move this out the way, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I take this because I, I, I have a lot of my personal notes in here. Um, and because it's the new King James translation, I prefer that translation, but I do take a King James Bible, which I will show you guys. So we have this one that I take. And then I also take my, uh, new King James, I mean, sorry, my King James, which is this Bible here. Um, it is the Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson and the King James. This is the older edition. There is a new version out that is much prettier um but this is a bible that i take it's king james and it's a study bible so i take one study bible and one journaling bible in the king james as well as in the new king james um i may opt out of the new king james i'm sorry i may opt out of taking the king james and take my new king james so that i don't have to take two bibles 
but um i'm not sure because i know we have to like she wants us to have a study bible in class um and the study bible she recommended was the dakes annotated one my mother and i are looking into getting that but it's like 60 70 dollars you know bibles are expensive and i don't want the hardcover i want like a nice leather one i don't know i have this thing against hardcovers when it comes to bibles i don't know like i don't mind a hardcover bible as long as the hardcover cover is like pretty pay me no mind that's just a personal personal preference okay but um this is the one that i take this is the one that i love this was my first bible ever this was the first basically this is the bible that got me into studying the word of god simply put um but this is what i take um then i take some pens so i take two or three zebra mile liners depending on how i feel i may take four um but i normally just take my gray and like another color so right now i have the gray and the mint because that's what i was going to take to class then i have a blue and black ink pen um and then i also take my folders and my notebooks so here is the notebook that i use this is from studio c i got it from walmart um for a few bucks but it just says find joy in the ordinary and this is the notebook that i use for class and these folders I take are all from Dollar Tree, so they're Dollar Tree folder. I take my Bible study folder, and um, it just says be wise with an owl, but I, I have a Bible study label on here. So this is the one that I use specifically for Bible study. Um, and we do have Bible studies at my church on Tuesdays. I have to actually catch up on a lot of the Bible studies because I've been stalking. Yes, so um, I keep all of that in there because we also have to, basically, to be elevated, we have to make sure that we're consistently in church. Um, we're basically doing the things that we are already supposed to be doing in church. So, like, if we have another role in the church, making sure that you're consistent with that. Um, we also have to attend Bible studies as well as the minister classes. Now, Bible studies are on Tuesdays and the minister classes is on Thursdays. Because I live in a whole different state from my church, it is hard for me to get to Bible study. So what I do is still get the assignments and do them at home and then email them or bring them in that Sunday to give to the pastor who is over Bible study. But I do attend the minister classes because I have to. I, I tried to do it over the phone one time and it didn't work out for me. I didn't like it. Um, this is one of those things where you have to be in person. Um, I also take the folder that I use for my pastor, um, cause again, I do work closely with her with her scheduling, things like that. So I keep a folder that I always take with me, um, anytime we're going to any type of event, I take it just in case I have to write something down, jot something down or whatever the case may be. I always want to be prepared for her and her schedule and her calendar and things like that. And then I take my actual minister's class, um, folder. So within the folder, I have my syllabus, I have my cost letter. I have my actual letter stating exactly what I'll be. So, you know, I keep all of that there in there. And um, that's pretty much it. I do want to get the Dakes Annotated Bible. That Bible actually looks really cool. I looked at the inside of it through ChristianBook.com. Um, so, yeah, we tried to go to Barnes & Nobles and get it. Barnes & Nobles did not have it in store. We would have to order it. Um, there is a Christian bookstore out in Queens, New York, that I want to check out um, to grab that Bible um we also have to bring an atlas i do have an atlas it's the rows books of bible charts maps and timelines that but it's so big that i don't take it but i'm probably gonna start taking it to class um but yeah i think that's it for now i talked about class talked about the mugs talked about the shirts um i think that's it for now not much of an update um just because my mind is like all over the place. Uh, but yeah. That, that, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, and I can answer those for you guys. I have no problem answering them. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.